So we've got the Boss GX100 in one corner and we have the Line 6 HX Stomp in the other. Now I'm kind of really hopeful that this simplified video will help you decide which avenue you wanna go down. Okay, so just a heads up guys, I am a user of the Boss GX100 that switched over to the Line 6 HX Stomp. And this video is basically gonna be demonstrating why I did that. Okay, so point number one, that is size. Now the Line 6 HX Stomp XL is a smaller unit. It fits on my desk way better. Personally, I am a studio user. I play the guitar, I teach online, I make videos, I record. This is what I use on my desk all the time. And it works so much better as a desk unit than I find a floor unit. And I think the Boss is more suitable as a floor unit. Point two is tone. I find it so much easier. Personally, I find it so much easier to dial in a nice tone. Basically, nice and simple, just with a nice amp and reverb pedal, or even a delay pedal, or even literally just an amp, I can kind of dial in a nice tone pretty quickly, where I feel that the Boss is slightly more processed in sound. I feel like you kind of need to cover up a lot of the amp tone with effects. I think it needs a lot more tweaking, basically, to be able to sound a more natural sounding tone. Now, I'm not saying that the tones that you can get from the Boss are bad. I really don't think that, I just think it requires a little bit more work. Now, if I'm gonna rate these tones, that I feel out of 10, let's say 10 being like the most best tone ever, I would rate the Line 6 HX from my point of view, I'd rate it an eight, really happy with where that is. And the Boss, I would probably give it a 6.5. That's only a little bit of a drop, but still, you know, it kind of is two things against it. For me, it's the size and the tone. So my third point is gonna be the updates. Now, updates are super crucial to getting new pedals, getting new amps, and this is something that Boss haven't actually done since I got the unit. Once I took it out of the box, I remember giving it an update straight away because there was one available straight away, but since then, since it was released, basically, there's not been an update. Now, I've had the Line 6 for about six or seven months, and I'm already on update number three. And every time there's an update, there's new amps, there's new pedals, there's new cabs, there's something new or a bunch of new stuff that's being fed into the unit, which is great because you're constantly getting new sounds and new creative outlets for your playing. So there you have it, there is my three reasons why I made the switch over from the Boss to the Line 6. Okay, so let's jump over to some tones now. I've basically tried to create a bunch of presets on each unit that are in a similar direction so you can see, to the best of my ability, what I'm able to dial in and show off what these products do. And if you like any of the sounds that you're gonna hear, then feel free to support the channel and check the link in the description. I've left a preset pack for the Line 6 and for the Boss for whatever unit you've got or decide to get. If you like my tones, you can get them.
Thank mm-hmm. you.